it's a brilliant opportunity for Dara Egan to, to get a taster of what he's going to have later on in the summer if he's going to be successful. He's up against a strong team. Dublin will put out a very strong team, as we've seen already. And it's a chance to, you know, to make his bow as a manager at Croke Park. Yeah, I think, I think this is a great move, first of all, just fixture-wise, putting this game yeah. in Croke Park. Um, it's the second good one you've heard of Leinster Council doing this week, actually. Last night's announcement that they're going to put the ladies' football final before the men's senior game in May. But, like, uh, the World Cup final going, I think they've put back Dublin Armagh by half an hour from when it was originally intended. But just makes a lot of sense. I know it's in Dublin's backyard, so to speak. Like, But from Wexford's point of view, I'm sure they're absolutely delighted. Um, I mean, I'm correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, they haven't played there since the 2018 Hurling semi-final. Am I right in saying that? I can't think of that they would have. But they, they, No, I'd say they played there in 2020. Didn't go oh, sorry, they, they battered them. But the Kilkenny game was all last year. Sorry, of course. Yeah. The, the one that went extra time. But, you know, like, they, they haven't been there as frequent. Like, so I'm sure they'll be delighted with the, the chance for it. I'm sure Egan himself will be delighted in terms of kind of a manager and even just kind of getting through the kind of routine of it and the kind of preparation element of it himself, you know. Um, yeah. And uh, you might, yeah, you just think of where some of these games have been on the last couple of weeks, you know, kind of two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon in different kind of pitches around Leinster. Um, yeah, I'd say that they're, they're pretty delighted the way that's worked out. Yeah, and I'm just looking at Dublin's form here at the moment. Uh, very good against Antrim. I was at the game against Galway when they absolutely beat them into the ground in that game. and Something like a 19-point defeat against Henry Shefflin's very experimental side. And it's clear, look, obviously I know Matty Kenny very well. He's not a guy who's just going to put out really weakened teams and just hope for the best and hope someone uh, comes out of somewhere. What he's going to do is going to pick on training and he's going to put out as strong a team as he can, as often as he can. And he talked about having the depth there as well, which he's definitely starting to develop there. So not only does he have maybe 18 guys now that he probably trusts to start, he probably has five or six that he trusts to come 